Hello YouTube. Let's check out a whole bunch of American Diorama. Uh, these are uh, Neho exclusives. I just messed up all kinds of stuff. Knocked everything down. Quality control. These are American Diorama Miho exclusive 164th scale figures. This is a Lowriders 2 limited edition die cast. Couldn't figure out what that thing was, but I guess it's a scale to measure how high your car jumps. So it comes with all these little figures. We'll crack all these open. pretty cool I really like the little uh, bulldog that's awesome bought these to set up along with my cars think it will add more to the garage scenes and stuff uh, I think these are gonna sell out pretty pretty quick so if you want to get your hands on these I recommend you hurry up and do it this is uh, auto transporters. Doesn't say what they're limited to. Hopefully American Diorama continues to release uh, stuff. It'd be cool to see them release like houses and buildings and parking lots and a lot more so you can actually build a nice, uh, a nice diorama. So... There's the info on the back. And we will crack these open. I'm just showing them quickly. We'll crack open a couple green light cars first. So we have something to compare the figures to. Uh, this is Car Wash Girls. Bikini Car Wash Girls. There's a couple more that I would like to get. There's a bunch of these. They have Hazmat, uh, Golf Racing, Pit Crew, which I would like to get. Uh, like a photo crew and a bunch of different ones and then we got the police here see the one that's writing out a ticket and then it comes with a dog which is really freaking awesome so crack open a couple green light cars and check out these little American figures or I'm trying to say American but little figures uh, really cool that Mini GT came out with them and now this American Diorama so First up, let's just start out with the green machine. 1982 GMC K2500. This is from the Fall Guy Greenlight Hollywood Series. Series 26. Series 26. Now, I do have the regular of this. I'll grab it real quick while you guys check out the green machine variation. Which looks really awesome. Been trying to get one of these for a while. Just recently, uh, quite a few of them went up on eBay for 20 bucks or 25 bucks. So, to me, I couldn't beat it. Couldn't pass it up for a green body green machine truck. Especially being the fall guy. Look really awesome if it didn't have the fall guy detail decal on it. But awesome, awesome set of rims and tires on this thing. 
number 3557 you know they number all their castings uh, I wish they would tell how many they release they don't always tell how many they release in this particular casting I think I might prefer the non green machine although the green machine looks awesome the non green machine they just nailed it they really nailed it I man if they ever offer these wheels and rims and a, a wheel pack I think I'm going to have to pick up a bunch of them I would hate to just pick up this casting to steal the wheels from but man them wheels would look amazing on a blazer or a bronco or freaking anything from the 80s very very prototypical rims and tires for the 80s if you had a lifted vehicle with that market just like their Krager style that they put on their others all right we got a couple green light and uh, an M2 forgot I picked up this M2 so next we have a Hertz Z28 Sunshine 1970 Chevy Camaro Z28 RS take me a minute get this out it's in a clamshell I seen this I just had to pick it up uh, green light has a car just like this that just came out and they also have an older one like this from like a country roads that truck acts like it has a stance issue green light it's usually a wheel that isn't on the rim all the way no nah, feels fine now it's rolling good now still ain't sitting right the heck oh yeah that one sits a lot more solid huh something's wrong with that one for some reason this one wobbles Something ain't quite right. This one's nice and solid. Rolls good. I almost want to pick up a second one of these and weather it. Make it look like the bumblebee when he got it. Of course, M2. Get amazing detail. Opening doors passenger door I'm not going to open it's already up in there a little bit driver's door opens nice uh, the hood don't want to open it's really tight alright not going to open the hood you can see the door opens hood opens too M2 does pretty good detail on the inside. Don't know what the hell's on the roof. I never saw a Z28 with a plastic thing on the roof. What is that? Somebody please comment down below. I think I completely missed out on something with this casting. Probably went in and picked it up. The door's a little wonky. I don't like that plastic thing on the roof. What is that? That didn't come on a Z28. 
Alright. Well, I was excited about this one. Now I'm just not sure what's going on with it. Still a good looking car. You get lens tail lights. Lens tail lights. Rims are just a stamped piece of plastic, it looks like. You get real riders. Screwed together. Would have looked a lot better without that piece of black plastic on the roof. I'm confused about that. All right, let's move on to a green light 2013 Dodge Charger. Super B with woman in dress. All right. More little figures. The people are a little bit more expensive than I thought. These are selling between $9.99 and $15.99. To me, it should be like $6.99 or $5.99. But, you know, there is quite a bit of detail with these little guys. And you do get six different things at least, if not more, counting them individually. So, oh, a dollar a piece. You'd still be looking at seven, eight dollars. That's closer to the nine ninety nine. But then you can get a regular green light that comes with one. So I got a, quite a few that have came with the hobby shop series over the years. There's one that comes with a diorama. I've been wanting for a very, very long time. It's a guy sitting in a lawn chair, and I think he might be drinking a beer. But it only comes with one camping diorama set, and it usually sells for 30 bucks or more, and you only get one truck in it. You get one truck and, like, three little figures. I think a cop, the guy sitting in the chair, and maybe one other guy. But, of course, Greenlight did an amazing job with this casting. I don't know why their windows. I really wish they do something different with their windows. That thing's all cloudy. Looks good in the purple, though. Really like the rims on this. Get the lens tail lights. Then we got a 2008 Dodge Charger SRT. Definitely like this one better with the lens tail light lens headlights so this is tooling number JL059 and this is tooling number JL huh where's it at alright JL019 Alright, so this one's quite a bit older. Does not have the lens headlights or tail lights. Does look like it has better plastic for the windows, maybe. Sorry about that. A little bit of pooch man quality control. Awesome, awesome looking wrap on it though. Really like the wrap they put on it. Or it appears to be a wrap. They actually release enough racing in the Mopar's paint scheme where you could actually set up a pretty nice Mopar 
diorama for racing. Oh, hard to open that hood. Nothing spectacular to see. Nice molded detail, but that's about it. Let's see the Hellcat. Alright. SRT Hellcat motor. Definitely more detail. Definitely nicer. Definitely like the lens headlights and tail lights better. Put that back up there. This is, for some reason, quite a bit lighter than this one. Must be the plastic they use for the lenses makes it lighter. Just teasing. Looks like a Mopar drift car, though. Pretty cool. Threw that back up there. So I thought we'd crack open a couple of these. Com Compare it to the car on the turntable. Then these are going to go... Oh, wow. Okay. I know why they're as much as they are now. These are metal. Why don't they advertise that? These are not advertised as metal. They do not sit on a base, which I absolutely really like that. But these are metal. In amazing detail. For as small as they are, you figure that's the size of a that's as big as my thumbnail. You see his radio. Look at all this different stuff. Awesome, awesome detail. I did not know they were metal. Well, not complaining about the price anymore. I thought these cones looked a little funny, but it's because they're metal. Alright, I think it's going to be impossible to stand these little guys up. Let's see if they stand on their own. Holy cow, they stand on their own. One little bump and they're going to fall over like dominoes, but... So that's really cool. Got the doggy. Please K9. Oh well, now. They should definitely advertise that these things are metal. That really makes them worth it. To be cast metal and detailed like that. Yep, I'm definitely happy about these now. I was happy before. I thought they were really cool that they even came out with something like that. So, next, we'll crack open the Car Wash Girls. Check them out as I drop everything. And then I'm, I'm setting them up in the background, so... At the end of the video, you'll be able to see them all. Got the bucket there. Little girl bent over with a rag getting into the bucket. Let's scrub in the rims here. Oh, that's a bummer. Bikini car wash sign is paper. I was hoping it was painted metal. So that's a bummer. That's a really cheap detail. But these things being metal makes up for it, so not complaining. Let me 
another girl crawling around. And that's so cool how these are metal. Take a better look at these. After I get them off the turntable. Yeah, my fat fingers are too big for these things. This is going to be frustrating. Working at the car wash. Get her out of the way. I think if you set these up in a diorama, definitely have to glue them. To keep them from falling over. I'd like to know what a uh, good kind of like a rubber glue would be. That uh, you could use safely on something like that and be able to peel it off. So the next one is auto transporters. Really got to hurry up. Starting to run out of time on my recording. Uh, I found out this phone records in 5K, so it limits me to like 27 minutes. So, just going to show these little guys. Now these are a uh, transporting crew, so not sure what all they are doing. This guy's definitely pushing the car. And it came with these little paper cones which are triangles which if they were metal be a lot better but or even plastic but you know what it's a cool detail this little guy here They do stand up pretty easily on their own so far. This little guy here. And this guy here. I have three more minutes to show one more of these, which is the coolest one. Oh, hey, that's what these are. These are the dots to hold them down. How about that? We got sticky dots. The low riders. Let me just hurry up and tear this open before I bump something and knock everything down. All right, we got sticky dots. That will help set them up in a diorama. And that will be safe, too. I was thinking like a two-sided sticky tape. So you got your measure, which is die cast. Little girl. I'll make a short video just where I show these set up. Seeing how... This video is going to end in two minutes. 
really cool. So if you want to see these, a closer up look out of them, just like set up. Probably just be like a one or two minute video like the mini GT one. Got a basketball player. This guy just hanging out. And the detail on these guys. Just freaking amazing. Kind of like the overweight American ones. And of course. The freaking bulldog. Heck yeah. Alright guys. Check these people out. One minute left. Got the car wash. The cops. Guy pushing a car. Well. Yep, I'm hooked. Definitely going to continue to pick up these guys now. They done did it for me. American Diorama. Check them out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave comments. Have a good one.